Okay, so target pixel file objects are data cubes that also house metadata. They are common to the Kepler and K2 test missions, and they usually contain pixel data centered on a single target star or galaxy or target of interest. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how Lightcurve uh, can work with these target pixel files, and uh, we're going to be using a Jupyter Notebook. So one way to use these files is if you happen to have the web address to the file from, say, the MAST archive or some other place, you can directly enter it. But a more convenient way is probably to just have the name of the source. And in this case, you can provide the Kepler input catalog or kick ID. And since it's off, the target is often observed in multiple quarters, you can provide a quarter, or if it's K2 data, maybe a campaign, or for test data, a sector. And you can see all of that information uh, here. So uh, once you have selected a target, you can download it or inspect the search result that arises. And what you get back is a target pixel file that has all sorts of metadata about what uh, is inside of it. And it, that's a Python object. But one thing you might want to do is verify the mission or the quarter and see some attributes. All of the information about what's in these target pixel file objects are on our online documentation that you can find uh, at that link. Here you can see that the time attribute is a vector of values, which are the times at which the data were recorded. Uh, but you can also use a AstroPy time object, and that's really convenient because it'll tell you things like the ISO time, uh, so that's a human readable representation for time, or a Earth-centered time coordinate, which could be useful if you're comparing to ground-based observations. Here we can see that the flux attribute is actually that data cube, so it's a 4,116 uh, cadence long, uh, time cadence or time steps long, and it's a 5x5 five five image for each of those cadences, so that makes a, a data cube. The units are electrons per second, and you can inspect any given frame by plotting and providing a frame number as reference. And here's that as a visual uh, representation with just the data values themselves, some of which of course can be NAND, maybe we didn't download those from the spacecraft. Those are all NumPy arrays, so that's convenient. It's common to want to do aperture photometry, so providing a Boolean mask of which values you'd like to be included when you sum up the flux in your aperture, your predefined aperture mask. And you can show what that looks like in plotting. So these are the values that we would use. Of course, all the things you can do to a FITS file uh, header, for example, are available by, uh, directly by saying header or by uh, accessing the HDU element directly, and you can see that here.